You ready to go to bed with me? Let's go! So the first thing I do is, is use a makeup wipe. I recently got these makeup wipes from my makeup artist. Um, they are Cogendo Cleansing Spa Water. So I'm gonna take one of these. And I really like softer makeup wipes. Like sometimes makeup wipes can have like those ridges, but my skin's really sensitive and it just tends to feel like it's burning if I, if I have those, those like rougher ones. Mm. And I always do foundation first. Um, and go like all around my eyes. Cause I feel like the eyes are the hardest part to get off. <laughs> Caterpillar eyebrows. And I like to press down on my eyes first to kind of like re-wet the mascara. Let it, um, yeah, just resaturate it so it, it's a little easier to come off. I don't need to scrub too much though because my next step will take the rest off. So this is kind of just getting the majority I'm very guilty at falling asleep with my makeup on. I try to be good at doing this um, because my skin is sensitive and I break out easily, but I definitely go to sleep often with mascara on. I always take my foundation off. 98% of the time I take my foundation off. The next step is the Ultra Bland Facial Cleanser from Lush. I started using Lush products um, only a couple years ago, and it wasn't until uh, I started shooting the 100 um, and had makeup on my face all the time and realized that I really needed something to properly cleanse my face. So I decided to go the natural route um, and go to Lush. And I found this stuff, which has been so nice. And it's the easiest way to take off your makeup. like. You honestly don't even have to do a makeup wipe. I just do that as to not feel like I'm rubbing more stuff into my face. But sometimes if I'm really lazy, I'll just take this and rub it all over with my makeup on. And you'll see, you'll see why. So I just put it all over. Don't forget the eyes. The drugstore products that I had found before were, were drying my skin out um, and sometimes even making me break out more oddly. Um, and this uh, definitely like leaves my skin still moisturized while cleansing it. Um, Cause it's got a really, a really creamy texture. Okay, so once I've done all that and really like rubbed it, I will take a washcloth and I wet it with warm water. And then, and sometimes I even use hot water so it's steamy a little bit. I lay it on my face, and then I just pull all the stuff off. It feels so good. Before I get to toner, while my pores are still open, I really like to use face masks, especially because um, I wear makeup all the time for set. So I really like to do um, the Catastrophe Cosmetic Face Mask from Lush. So every time I have like a little pimple that I see like surfacing if i put this stuff on keep it on for like 15 minutes and then of course wash it off uh then i find that it 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 zaps my my pimples away it's got blueberries in it which are the full of antioxidants i can just rub it all over it feels really nice it's really smooth you won't be able to talk <laughs> as it dries it kind of stiffens up your face a little bit which i like because it like when i wash it off it makes my skin feel tight and firm so I've, I've definitely like moved into using more natural products, um, especially, and as well as like an ethically conscious products um, is something that I try to uh, stick to. Um, one, because my, my skin is very sensitive and it tends to react better to these things. Um, but also it's better for the environment in the, in the long run. Um, as we know, like certain products, like those beads and stuff that are in certain things, like Sometimes they're made of plastic or other strange things. And while it does work for some people, I just feel more comfortable using using things that I would essentially use if I was in the wild. My favorite ways to pass the time when I'm doing masks, especially if it's Saturday morning, I've like continued on with the ritual into my older age with Saturday morning cartoons. So I like to, <laughs> to put on my mask and then sit and watch cartoons, sit with my dog, cartoons and a face mask. How does it get better than that? It doesn't. All right, 
and give a nice pat with a clean towel. So my next step is the tea tree toning water, which I will do in one of two ways. I will either spray it directly on my face um, or I will put it on a cotton pad. I usually put it on the cotton pad just in case if I've left any uh, like mask on, like there's like some kind of stuck here on my forehead just to get the rest kind of off or I'll do both like I'm gonna do now. So. I love that feeling. It just like, whoof. It's like your face going, thank you. So I am now going to go into my final step, um, which is the Enzymion Facial Moisturizer from Lush. A lot of uh, moisturizers tend to clog my pores um, and they, they just don't work for me. And this um, is really light. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this guy. A little bit goes a long way. And I just kind of pressed it into my skin. I had a friend tell me like a couple years back that his mom taught him not to pull down as you put lotion on your face, but if anything, push like uh, press on it or go upward because pulling down like it will eventually sag your skin. Um, that could be an old wives tale, I don't know, but I, I took it to heart. So that's my final step. Um, I'm done, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm gonna go get in the bed now, uh, so I'll see you guys later. Peace out, bye.